another wave. I swear I just sent in that report talking about a massive imperial wave of infantry. Yet here they are again. Wave after wave after wave. It's insanity. Now we know how they're managing it. Penal battalions. The last attack was an imperial prison penal battalion. They were offered time off their sentences for the attack. The defenders held, with almost no imperial support but a single airstrike, or at least attempted airstrike, which was thwarted, the imperial ground troops didn't stand a chance. The artillery that we brought and dug in, firing line, held them in position, while portable sensor sticks dropped by speeder bike infantry gave us movement and targets for the boys. We would just gotten the supplies needed to start our invasion against the Black Sun in the south. Bondor is the primary target, but we gotta get there first. The shipyard has to be dealt with. The Empire's taking full advantage of our troops being distracted down the south. We have to deal with them once and for all. This is Captain Shack. Out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome back to Empire at War, Forces of Corruption, playing the Fantastic Mod Awakening of the Rebellion. We are back, and we got some good news in this episode. A trailer has dropped. I will try to remember to put a link in the description for the trailer for Awakening the Rebellion, the new version is right around the corner. It's gonna be released between December 1st and 3rd is their estimated release date. Keep in mind, it is a mod. They are volunteers working on this as a passion project. So we don't know when it's actually gonna come out, but I hope they're able to keep to their to their schedule December 1st through 3rd. But that also means that uh, well, this, this campaign needs to wrap up. Not only because uh, I'd have to subscribe to like a backdated version of the mod to use that to continue it, but also because I really wanna play the new version. That's the one with the new big map and Oh, the new AI for ground pathfinding. Oh, there's so much in that that I'm just looking forward to. But anywho, let's turn on all the things. What that really means is we're just going to have more Awakening the Rebellion episodes here on the channel as we fight for the core. Still got a couple of weeks. Let's see what we can manage to pull off. So last time on Spaceball Z, we've managed to blockade Thyphera. We are right at the edge of Fondor, and they do have a fleet there, but it's not that amazing because they split it. They sent their fleet to Alziri. Now, I desperately want to take the orbit of all of these worlds so that we can knock them out and actually focus our efforts on just the Empire. We've also got a... We've got the Doom Fleet, all right? I don't know what to call this, but it's the massive ISD fleet that is currently over Princess Leia's... We're gonna, we're gonna dig in. If we can get that built, I will be so happy. Um, do you guys have a shield generator? Oh, you do! Uh, turbo laser's next. And then, uh, do I want a shield generator? You know what ion cannons do allow you to do? They allow you to, I don't remember if it works in Awakening the Rebellion. I assume it does, because it's a base game thing. They let you retreat on ground battles without losing any units. I think as long as you can get to one of the evac sites. I actually might be wrong. You might just be able to retreat. Normally you couldn't do that because there'd be a fleet in orbit and you just can't run. But this lets you actually do it. Uh, but no. I'm I'm dedicated. We're staying. We are staying. How wait? How big is their ground force? Three platoons and one ATAT. Okay, that's not too that's not too crazy. They just didn't use that during the fight. Uh, we do need to deal with this. This is a big deal. And some of the comments were this was actually in Shack Chat over in the Armco Discord, our community Discord. Come over and join us if you want some fun sci-fi gaming people to hang out with. Um, we there was a lot of talk about me just like building up fighters and doing raids and trying to knock the numbers down. And we do have our fighter production core sec set up. We might dump like, I don't know, 20 grand into star fighters to pull that off. I'm for it. Eddie four. Let's get five A wings. Let's get a Unit series of Y wings and let's go for the space Unit superiority fighter. The best fighter in the galaxy. The X wing. Look into your heart, you know it to be true. Uh, let's also pick up some buddy once told me blockade runners are his favorite ship, so we're gonna build those. Uh, not this many though, because I want to put on the docket a capital ship, basically to eat eat fire. So eleven thousand credit frontline. I'm sorry, MC75, but you're probably gonna be sacrificial in this. But I can also make you quickly because I don't want to wait for another. Another one of the big boys, one of the Dauntlesses to finish up. Uh, Solus has got us a, ooh, you've got a, a gravity generator finished. And I think our next big paychecks are gonna go into capital ship production at Solus for uh, another Dauntless. Yeah, we're gonna have to get paid twice for that to happen though. I do wanna get some Dauntlesses up front. 
Because while the MC-75 can take the hits, the Dauntless can kill stuff while it's doing it <laughs> at this tier, at this tech tier. We do have ground forces as well, ready to go. I think we're going to drop on Thyfera before they have a chance to react. I don't have a leader here, though. Oh, but I can't wait because the Empire is moving too quickly for that. Um, Ground forces are moving. I just want to plan this unpause really, really well because they've been really using their time effectively on the galactic map. All right, we're going to start the invasion of Thyfera as quickly as we possibly can. Ordabana has got one of its um, Tavana gas mines online. That's good. Let's go. Plotting course. They have a hyperlane, so they can actually move faster. Ooh, the new version. The new version of this has... I could bring Kyle back, actually. Let's bring Kyle back. Let's it's go. not a hyperlane, so it'll move a little bit faster. Uh, sorry, Kyle, I can't wait for you. Invasion commencing. We might be chased out, and I can't allow that. I want to hold this. They're going to have to pay for it if they want to make a run on this. They only have one ground building? What? What? Did I not notice that when I zoomed in? All right, well, I didn't set what we were starting with, so we ended up starting with tier three Spec Force Trooper teams. I am totally fine with that. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, please. Oh, oh, no. Okay. You know, we might be able to harass them with like Z95s. Let's try it. Um, we'll bring in some 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 armor. Oh boy. So those are the sound of the crushers. And we haven't fought them in a while. They're horrifying. They're so... Mm. Yeah, I need to stop bringing in infantry because they're flamethrower troops. What am I doing? Uh, you know what? Let's get them smoke out here. Maybe we can up our defense and survive a little bit better. And more Z95s. Let's find the enemy. And I will hold... No, we're going to bring a support team in to see if we can keep everybody alive. Enemy forces ahead. All right, drop ships are on their way. We're taking a little bit of fire, mostly from just light infantry and some artillery platforms. Give me all of our Z95s. Yeah, I mean, if you guys can just harass this, that would be pretty great. Let's zoom over here. Did I bring in? Yes, I brought in six. What we're looking for is turrets being built. Yeah, there's only, there's only, oh, there's three, maybe four. They have a whole squad. Let's go back down here. You guys are doing pretty good damage. I'm going to move our team up and secure this. Good attack move order. Let's make this. Group one. D95s. Get a little cast over here. Who, who, who came up with the no cliff line? Like, what? Accelerating to attack speed. <laughs> uh, well, someday, someday we're going to go back to Tale of Two Wastelands on the channel. And if you don't know what that mod is, oh, man, I do. I, I'm going to blow your mind right now if you're if you're a Fallout fan. So there is a mod where you can combine a Fallout New Vegas. You can use it with its engine upgrades and play Fallout 3 in it, where you can take a train between the two wastelands. I'm just going to keep weakening this artillery. There's no reason to move in just yet. What we do need to keep an eye out is if they build... Um, they might not have the resources. All right, let's get out of there. That's a lot of firepower. Our ground teams are moving up. Ooh, we should get a... Um, we should get a sensor relay so we can see exactly what's going on here. Taking Thyfera... What in the world? We've secured a build pad. Oh, this is where their shield generator would be if they had one. Yeah, that's what that is. That's what that would be. Uh, but you can play, yeah, Fallout New Vegas in, in or Fallout 3 in Fallout New Vegas and go between the wastelands. You can bring all the items, do all the quests. It's actually really, really cool. It's been in the works, uh, and it's a stable release. Okay, we, we didn't actually take this. Stay here. I'll send a, nope, I'll send a bike. I don't have any bikes. Good to know. Let's grab this. So, our APCs have an ability called smoke screen. When we pop it, it will give all of our infantry in the area a pretty right substantial right here, armor buff. Ready. Right. It's actually pretty sweet, sir. sweet ability. Uh, we need to thin these numbers. And Z95s are so, I get it. It's our variant of the TIE fighter for the Rebel Alliance. They just don't, they just don't do much. Yeah, fire those missiles, I say, as I alpha strike one of their, Bits of artillery. 
I'm actually pretty okay with this. All right, let's run. Let's let the deflector shields come back online. Pull back the squadron. And uh, any time that we take is on us. We get more and more potential for bombing runs. Let's pick up another sensor relay. Let's pick up... Um, I think those crushers are considered vehicles? Question mark? Or like light armored tanks? So we're gonna go with anti-vehicle weapon systems? Um, Alright, let's go back in. They've built a turret here. We don't want to hit it. Let's just drop torpedoes on it and then run away. Oh, the sensors on a Z95 are really trash. <laughs> Oh no! Are the rail guns? Just rail gun, right? Mass driver turret. I'll be right there. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. I don't want to lose you guys for something silly. Uh, I don't even have to go over there. Hmm. And I've got tier three missiles, so we can move in and probably just missile that down without having to, to risk anyone. Uh, let's do this. Let's try a raid. This is a perfect opportunity. We're gonna grab our missiles. We're gonna load you guys up. Two teams of two in each. There we go. You guys should have a relatively decent maneuverability, right? Uh, they're kind of slow. I mean, it's better than infantry. We have our bombing run. My idea was come over here, get within missile range, drop, fire, load up, run. Um, I don't think they have the anti-air to even stop a bombing run, so we might just try that and lower their numbers down. That sensor array did not do enough. Alright, keep moving over here. Stack up next to each other before we move in. I wanna I wanna time this next to each other. What are you? That thing is talking so much crap. Alright, I think we're close enough. Let's go, go, go. Everybody hold. Drop, drop, drop. Smoke is popped. Missiles are away. Aircraft are on the way. I don't see enough hostiles just yet. I'm gonna start dropping mine. Minefields? No? Yeah, they're there. Are you not in the smoke? Did we get it? Are we winning? I think that's an anti-infantry turret. I just rushed it with an infantry. No, nah, maybe not. All right, they even come looking at us. We're just gonna run. But so far, we're doing fine. I wonder how much damage these guys can actually take when they're like this. If he looks towards us. All right, victory is ours, let's go. Get in the ride, get in the ride, we're leaving. Wait, why do I only have two units? Oh no, we lost two squads even with smoke popped. Yikes. But the aircraft are no longer getting rail guns, so their shields are holding, that's lovely. The rest of our troops are moving in. We do have another call in. Uh, I'm thinking Ewing Company. That way we can do some disabling and ion damage. And you'd think, I don't think this is how it works, uh, but I, you'd think they'd do more damage because, you know, droid, ion damage. I'm gonna push up. I'm gonna push up and see if I can get an ion there. Uh, eh, maybe? Do your day launcher. It should do literally nothing to us. Yep, bring in the Z95s. Lob those rockets. We have a bombardment. I still don't know where the rest of their force is. Let's go for the strike. Seriously? All right, bombardment here. Let's thin the crowd and let's make a hole. We're going through the wall. I don't have the time nor the patience to deal with you guys. Let's see what we got over here. It's the palace. That's what we want. Bobbing run inbound. All air fall back. Because whatever they've got there. Oh, they've got droidicas lighting you up. Oh, man, look at the model on the droidicas. No! Don't roll toward us. Oh, we have too many infantry for droidicas. I don't want that. Uh, go ahead and fall back. Man, your cannons are actually not doing half bad. Drop some missile troops. How quickly? Fire. I want to see how well your missiles do. Okay, that's one missile away. That's not bad. Here comes the B-Wings. Oh, they're using, oh, nope, nope, nope. Get back inside, get back inside, get back inside. He turned, he turned and he started flamethrowing us. There's the bombs. Victory is ours. Squadron reporting. 
We're going and we in. should be able to shut down. Oh, it's already dead. Never mind. Plotting course. Uh, great opportunity to see how good a U wing is against this. Look at that, what the flamethrower does to this. Nothing. Oh, wonderful. Oh my God, what? Go hit him, hit him. Hit him. Okay, that's not nearly as much as I thought it was. Let's go ahead and have you guys move in. I'm giving the attack move order. That's anti-air. Run. Run, 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 run. We need to get through this nonsense. Don't let them get close enough. Everybody fire at this. There you go. No, I think what's doing the damage is actually the light vehicles in the back of the rockets. Yeah. Okay, I think we're pretty clear here. I'm gonna knock out the bunker so we don't have to come back here. Are those B1s? Oh, no, they're sniper IGs. If I can dig in at Thyfera, they won't be able to pull me off of this planet. This has got a great defensive setup. Not to mention whoever comes through the wall ends up putting a bunch of rounds into the walls. It buys you time. Come on, you can kill those IGs, I believe in you. I know they're like elite infantry and all that. All right, we gotta kill this quick. We gotta kill this quick, and we gotta swap over to the anti-air as soon as it's dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, I believe, I believe. There you go. Switch over. Nope, stop firing the wall, please. <laughs> stop putting rounds into, this is what I was talking about. Put rounds into the wall. But I'll go ahead and get you guys covered up. Good job, we're moving up. All right, air can come back in. Cause it'll be dead by the time we get here. And if it's not, then Xenia finds and finish the job. Weird, my, my, my cinematic camera's not working. I can do this, but I can't do the auto panning cinematic camera. Okay, we've decided to shoot at walls. Yes, we have. All the units! Attack the last of their outposts. It is time to win the day. What are these? Oh, these are the dead robots. Yeah, this is the GRZs. Look at these monsters. Crushers, ugh. Hey, APC, you got rockets, right? Tier threes? Immediately toss them into your wall. Yep, all right. Good job, team. Can't be much left. I think they've got a bunker here. Yeah, it's a bunker. Couple of units in there. That means we've got two black sun plants we need to take out. We have that fleet. They don't actually have anything in that bunker. Where are you hiding? Did the U-Wing die? No. U-Wing! Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I saw them. They're at the evac site. They're trying to run. They don't have a site to run from. Find them. There we go. They have an orbit, though, so maybe they can't. Real progress against the Black Sun. Uh, yeah. Yeah, something hit them when they came out of the transport, and that sucks. That, that was expensive. All right. We do have a fleet in orbit, so I will pick that up. I'll pick up the barracks and the shield generator right away. Now, Kyle. Oh, you're in route at the moment. Kyle's in route. We just got paid 11 grand. We're gonna get another grand to get another Dauntless up and online. Uh, and we're sending out spies, that's right. You're gonna gather intelligence. I don't know why I said it like some kind of villain. Spies. Uh, let's get intel on, uh, I wanna know what's happening at all the border worlds. Wing squadron reporting. Yes, we're doing this. Andrilla, what's your fleet look like right now? We need to get the enemy to move. I'm gonna hit Aragu. This is such a questionable idea. Let's go. You're full stack, right? You could use one more unit. Get yourself some more infantry rockets. You guys, now your team is there. We're moving. We're gonna start breaking space stations so they have to dump their money into that instead of capital ships. Okay, can we take this fleet? Four Venators, six Acclimators, plus some Hut support ships. We've got a lot of Quasars. Y Wing Squadron reporting. Affirmative. Tactical battle. We're moving. So these are raids. I'm gonna use the Quasars to hit them and see if we can weaken this up enough to actually take them down. Uh, mostly I'm worried about that. That battle cruiser and the Venator. 
But we're we're on the offensive. We're trying to do what the Empire's been doing to us. Let's attack. Every weak world we can find. Any place that we can move. While building up and maybe combining fleets to hit that big one. What I'm guessing the Empire is going to do is sit on that world, that massive ISD flame. And they're going to wait until they have a ground force again to try to invade. That would be my guess. Y wing standing by. All right. Shield ship has arrived. This is a world we fought over a couple of times. They do have a golem platform. They do have a venator. Interesting. Mobile platforms on the move. Actually, let's hold here. You calling for me, All fighters sir, form up here. Hold your position. Choose your reinforcements. We will move up. I want Ready. them to come and attack us. Order confirmed. We'll move a little bit closer. I want them to get away We've from the Colin platform. The oh no. Are Bomb there pirates here? Right Don't wait till it gets close. At the ready. Oh, he turned around. Wait, he turned around. A pirate group of Z95s. Z95, yeah. Hold position. Are what are you shooting at? He sees something. All right. Where's our fleet? He's going out. Moving to destination. We're heading out. Oh, it's an enemy freighter convoy. Yeah. Location confirmed. So this Moving is a carrier raid. Wanted. What the hell? Oh, it's the freighters. Oh, yeah, we're literally right in the middle. I feel your pain. This Vector happens to me all the time. Let's get a jamming ship to help protect the fleet and a little bit more flak. We're gonna bring a Venator in to help defend the carriers and be a carrier itself. Uh, let's get another, another freighter and a Liberator because that's got some fighters on it too. Well, this is a great way to make some cash. Oh, hey, Spectator Camp works again. Yeah, they're just flying through the fleet formation. No big deal. Oh, look at the Sentinels. Those big heavy like lambdas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Getting paid. The, no the noise you're hearing is when you kill a freighter, it drops a coin. And then when you fly into the coin, you get the credits for it. So we're gonna leave this mission with 30 grand. We're gonna be buying up a new Dauntless. We're gonna be laying the keel for that. Wonderful. Uh, I don't know. Wait, don't you give a bonus to all combat ships? Yeah. As you wish, Master. I need help. Come on out of hyperspace. Make us 5% better. We're gonna get paid on this last one. Let's start Ready organizing the fleet. So, 12 X-Wings are group one. You guys can go ahead and move up. Uh, I might leave you guys here to defend or maybe take the Alpha Strike from the enemy engagement. Uh, there's the U-Wings. Let's get the U-Wings up here. Please don't auto-cast that anymore. That's kind of a really useful ability. I'll make you guys group two, though. You're probably just gonna stick with the X-Wings to give them some survivability. Uh, Ark, I have a special mission for you. Close your S-foils. I wanna know what's going on over here. And I'm kind of hoping I can hide in this corner and get my sensors on. Arcs have really good sensor range, by the way, compared to their size. Fighters normally don't have great in the way of sensors. Can we win this fight in this raid? Uh, I have long probes. All right, I'll send the wrong probes the other direction. I'm probably not, but we can do some damage. I mean, we're fast and maneuverable enough. I might just have us. Okay. Why wing here? Head that way. I might just go for some of the space stations to see if we can crack them. Maybe get the enemy fleet to move around. It looks like there's a pirate base in the north. I wonder if we can intercept that. I copy. Target confirmed. Reporting. Rest of the fighter group. Keep going. Let's go for a little raiding party. This way. A lot of X wings. Very little bomber. They're all fighter fits. I could, I could swap them out. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. See if we can weaken this up a bit. Over this may there. take a couple of raids. Oh, where are you going? We're going in. Oh, we, we're gonna pull off. Yes, sir. Arcs have been engaged. That's okay. 
I'm all right with this. So if they engage the fleet, our fleet is actually really heavy in anti-fighter combat capability because all the Quasars are literally kind of screeners in their own way. They do have point defense. Uh, we do have the Nebulon B and I can bring in the X-Wing. So I'm not against them going in. This is exactly what we wanted. I don't know why they decided to come out and play. Uh, but we're going to go after the engines on the first ship so that we can keep it here. Form up. I'm going to need you Point over here. Yes, We've launched another arc. All right, combat group is moving in. Reason we're taking the engine out is so it can't get away. And that'll let the uh, Venator pound on it. And then as soon as that's done, got it. We're going after this one. Going for the engines. We do not want him to get back to support the rest of the team. I will break off a couple of X-Wings to cover us. R-41. Uh, let's go after those. Mm, you'd actually be better at the group. Z-95s. Give me some concussions on those arcs. The rest of the team should be dropping torpedoes on the first engine. Sadly, he's made it pretty much back. Uh, that's a bit lame. But. Oh, come on, boys. Yeah, you're not going to be able to break that engine, are you? No, I don't think you are. They are re-engaging. I have to decide now. We never got that engine down. All right, we got to fight the fight. Lasers linked and ready. Need help. Boarding in. Ready for command. Get in there. Get in there. Oh yeah, Alpha strike the crap out of those shuttles. If you all fight, yeah, you all fire at them, they will die. All right, everybody, tag move. We are set here. This is the fight. I'm dropping some of your supply kits. Let's make a little bit of a field of them. No, no, no! Don't chase. You got to fight the ones that are here, not chase the ones that aren't. Where are they going after? The rest of the fleet looks like it might be engaging. Awaiting orders. Go ahead and engage, engage, engage. We've split the fleet too much, which is kind of good for us, but kill those bombers. Not bad. We're gonna engage this. Get everybody in that fight. I'm micromanaging this fleet fight. Let's get some more resupplies. All right, how are we doing back here? Bombers, you're clear to engage. I mean, you guys might be able to pull this off. I'll get you a few kind of cheap ships in the front to buy us some time. Overload the guns. We need those fighters back here to win this. All right, we're, out. we're pulling them back. We're pulling them back. All X-Wings. Hard charge. We're going to need your firepower. We're going to Alpha Strike their broadside cruiser. How's your shield doing? Uh... Yeah, with the fighters, I think we can win this. Reporting. See this from the perspective of an X-Wing. Oh, wait, an X-Wing in combat. <laughs> Deploy S-Foils. Break someone. Uh, that broadside shouldn't be doing any damage to us. How are you guys doing? You are, because you are a mission reward. Your hunters, they don't really have any Corvettes. Make sure you stay inside the shield bubble, please. Oh, you're in the shield bubble. All right, cool. Eclipse to Star Killer. Eclipse to Star Killer. Yeah, focus your fire there, and let's get another supply package. Prompt. Starfighters, get in here. I need you doing runs. And I need two of you working air superiority. Make that three of you. Air superiority. Kill those fighters that are coming in. Let's make sure they don't get any reinforcements. I want to win this, this battle outright. This actually feels pretty good so far. Anybody I want to fall back with? Yeah, let's bring the Nebula and be back. Keep slamming them. This is a ship that I need to build more of. That heavy gun in the front. So I got some teaser images sent to me of Republic at War's new models. And is that mod is back in development. If you don't know what that one is, it's not surprising. It's been a long time since we've covered it on the channel. It's been a few years. And it was one of the first campaigns we ever did here on Empire War. Uh, it was the first campaign, actually, that we ever did so many years ago. Uh, but it's back in development. Stop blowing holes in my Nebulon B, you jerks. Oof, oof. We have fires on deck one and two. So spindly. Uh, and it looks so good. Oh, I'm so excited to see that come back. Clone Wars era mod. When it comes to Star Wars, you can't just say Republic. Which one are you talking about? Starting my run, picking up signals. The old one, the one, the new one. All right, that's another ship down. That 
pretty much annihilates their ability to defend. Reporting. On my way. Let's move up. We'll have the Starfighters start weakening up the Golem platform. I really needed to win this fight without without major casualties and I mean not bad not wow that's gorgeous I love the bubble shield mechanic it's so good it just gives you options yes sir while also you know Squadron, not being the answer out. to all problems right because you know Watch torpedoes victory fighter. classes those style ships all right I'm just giving you attack move order I want Maybe you to clear the yourself. skies Intercept and engage. And then as soon as they're dead, we'll start knocking out subsystems. Yes, Commander. Torpedoes armed. I feel like you guys decided to. Yeah, they did. They decided to go after the Golan platform and not wipe out the fighters. That's not great for us. And as soon as you guys get in range, drop some supply packages. We should have reinforcements. No, we haven't. We've only had one spawn of X-Wings come out of the endurance carriers. Wow. Hey, go ahead and engage and turn, turn on your ion cannon. Let's eye on this. Fighters are almost down. I just want to get into artillery position. Now that everybody is properly and truly kaplooied, uh, and there aren't really any ties left, let's focus on the shield generators because you are not killing those shields with KX dents. one thing that I wish we had. I was just looking at that U-Wing and thinking about how fun it would be to fly one of those. And then I thought about thinking about Squad and the Galactic Conquest mod. Galactic Contest? Is that it? The Star Wars one set in the Clone Wars. I wish we had one of those mods. Squadron reporting. It was set in the Galactic Civil War. Roger that. Empire versus Rebels. How fun would that be? AT-ATs and ATSTs in the field. Bringing in stuff like the, the T4B, you know. X-Wings flying around, doing casts. It is an amazing achievement, that mod, though. It's probably the best ground game that you can have right now, experience-wise, uh, in the Star Wars universe. I'm just not a huge fan of fully focused only PvP, even if it's team-based PvP. I just don't have it in me these days. To get really into being good at something. Yeah, good at a PvP game. And the Twitch reflexes aren't, uh, aren't what they used to be. Old Man Shaq says. There they go, they're running. I don't even have to take out the other space station. As soon as they lost the goal, and they knew that was it. Cracked in half and falling towards the surface of the planet. I'm sure that won't be an ecological disaster. Mmm, good coffee. Detonated. All right, we should have another battle right after this one, hitting the next weak spot we have found, except for this time against the Empire in the core. We're gonna blow it, uh, and I'm gonna try to run some troops over there, maybe take the ground. At the very least, we're just gonna break it. Oh, that was the core, that was the core invasion, excuse me. Uh, no, the invasion that we're gonna have is hitting Alziri with the other group, with the other carrier, a carrier group, I say in quotes. Uh, this does have some, some, this is the fleet. It needs to fight them. Ah, they moved. They moved. Hey, actually, this is a good thing for me. Uh, so they moved here. And they split off a couple of ISDs. Where did they go? We need to get back here. So what I'm going to do... That actually has bombers in it. Is something really silly. First thing. Recruiting, training troops. You guys are pretty cheap. Onderon, start training. We need to get a we need to get a force to pop this. Who can stop them too? Uh, you don't happen to have. You have two of them. Why do you? Have, why do you have two? <sighs> All right. First things first. Hey, hey, hey. Get out of their menu. I can't see. Uh, yes, this one. At your command. Quickly, 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 quickly. Damn. I need to move this down to the Cato Nemoidia fleet. You don't need two gravity generators in one fleet. All right. We've got a defense station. They've got their railgun, their fire star. The Vetators are the real scary thing because that's going to be so many starfighters. We need to be ready to take on starfighters. The ground force, though, is nothing to write home about. Wow. 
I used to have a hut base there. A tier one. Okay. Trying to move so quick to, to gain some ground before I get the inevitable attack of like another Imperial battle group. Gotta make him pay for it. Your orders, sir? I could probably swing Underway. far left. Actually, why don't I go Moving far right? Position. Go across the edge of the map here and see if I can take out their space station. We're gonna fast forward. Ready for action. We'll kick All on the engines. The engine. Got a blockade runner. Enemy fleet is settling in at the space station. Ah! Oh, oh, look at this Venator out of position. Oh, my B-wing pilots are so sad. We're no ne we're nowhere near that. It's only right one away. Venator, but it's probably got the Escort, right? Oh, something is attacking it. What? Oh, do I want to hopscotch Choose over there? That would spread us pretty thin. There must be a pirate base. No, we're going to take advantage of this. We're going to go up to the space station. Standing by. That Corvettes could be really out. funny if we can destroy Heading the space out. station and just leave. All out. Let's move out. I really do need to get over there. So you see that blinking? That means it's taking damage. That means there's most likely a pirate force here somewhere, question mark. Need to get closer. Yes, sir. We haven't Let's picked go. up the gravity well of the space state. Now we have. All right. So, we are going to Alpha Strike a space station with nine B wings. This route. is the most rebel raid we have route. ever done. Reinforcements on route. Reinforcements At the same time, I'm going to put a series of quasars here. No, like back here near this asteroid. Heading out. And their job. Fall out. Let's move out. Is to send fighter squadrons to delay the enemy's response. Reinforcements. It's not a rebel route. raid without Y wings. Reinforcements en route. The, and we'll bring in two quasars the here to give them a little Moving bit of starfighter coverage. Here we go. Nice thing about bringing in individual squadrons your like orders? this is Bombers that they come in much faster. Moving out. Okay, they've gotten their orders to move out. I'm already sending the U-Wings in to... Right they're almost at the space station already. Ready for they are. Moving We're out. moving in. Oh, no. They're already on top of it. Okay. Copy, We're going to have to rethink the plan. We have to rethink the plan. Uh, did I make you group one? I did. How did you get hit? Did you seriously take... <laughs> yes, they did. In. Oh, crap, Baskets. All right, group up. This isn't going to work. I get no reading. This isn't gonna work. You guys are the delay force, so I'm just gonna send you in. Let's knock out some of these starfighters while the bombers kind of escape. Moving to attack position. Attack move order has been given. Missiles should be away. Y wing here. We need a little force multiplier. Start dropping these supplies. Oh, oh! You dropped your ability, right? You did. You did. You did. You all dropped yours. Good. Good quasars. On the other side of this asteroid field. Rest of you X-Wings, go ahead and engage. Group one. We are gonna alpha strike something, damn it, and then we're gonna leave. You have your orders, go after some of the carriers. Please tell me somebody's got some ammunition left and you didn't waste it on something silly. You did? Holy crap, the hull damage. Gonna snap it in half. Target destroyed, well done. I'm gonna go after this anti-fighter starship that's spawned here. It's just, it's gotta go. It's gonna eat us, it's gonna eat us. We gotta kill it. Can we kill it? Can we alpha it? We lost a Quasar. They're gonna outrun us. It's a big problem. They're gonna outrun us. Uh, and most of my X-Wings are already getting pretty chewed up right now. I need to get you guys out of here. There's too many, yeah, we gotta go. Bad positioning. Too much cover. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're losing Y-Wings right now. We're losing B-Wings. Free X-Wings are getting their work done. Okay, all right. I could split the fleet, got an acclimator out of it, and try to move them away. There's just so many starfighters there. Wow. Hmm. Oh, you're going a weird direction too. 
think I might need a front line here. I might need a sacrificial Dauntless to eat the front. And and try to win the fighter battle? I don't know. Problems. Problems. For right now, though, let's hit Arangu with ground forces. Let's see if we can take it. This No, you're too surrounded right now. Squadron Rendil, reporting. I need your troops. You? Maneuvering. Going up with them. We have mo troops. Enemy movement. Enemy movement. Please stack quickly. There you go. There you go. Uh, what? Oh, reinforcements arrived from someplace else. I must have ordered them out a long time ago. Hmm. All right, let's get them out of there. There's a few space stations, and what I'm thinking is we'll send scouts to each one. That planet we were just at, that system. We'll send a scout to each one so we can see their, their two space stations. And then we'll, we'll bring in an attack force for each. Now the problem is when they commit to one of those, they're going to destroy it. Waiting for the hyperdrive engines to chill out so we can go. Not quite there yet. Prepare for jump to All right, we're out of here. I want to destroy this Venator too, but I don't have a a fleet in the area. Uh, you're falling back. Wing you... squadron reporting. Let's. Complete. Oh balls. Oh, oh no, what did they bring in? Okay, so you guys went, you backtracked and went for Ithor. Where we have an Independence of Dauntless, a decent amount of fighter coverage. We're gonna have to run again. Just seeing what's nearby as reinforcements. We could stack. I think that might be what we do. We may have to stack the Ord Montel fleet and then just fight this. Begin the battle. Hmm. It's not an insignificant amount of firepower that we've got here. We could do a pretty pretty gnarly amount of damage. Upgrade in progress. I'll do the upgrades. The Dauntless in the front. Waiting orders. Fall out. Let's move out. Reinforcements. And we've got a disabler and we've got reinforcements of a we have light reinforcements. Definitely you guys in front. Reinforcements on route. Copy that. Weapons on route. And then you get over here. Construction complete. Reporting. You star fighters get over here as well. Quasar, Engines sit in the back, but in the fight. I think we are going to fight this. Awaiting orders. Complete. At least a little bit. Awaiting orders. This way. See what we can take down. Might even be worth moving up Upgrade. to here. Complete. And force them to, like, go around this. Nah, the Dreadnoughts will never make it there in time, and I want them as a front line. But open field battle doesn't sound great either. Against an Imperial ISD flight. Because they're going to have us on range. Does this block line of sight? Can I hide behind this? Let's, let's go. We're going to move the fleet. Worst case scenario, we just end up running. I want one of them to go through here. So there's this little channel, this little avenue. And if one of the ISDs decides to chase our fleet through it, it's going to kill its maneuverability. There's nowhere it's going to be able to go. I don't think they will, though. I do like having the broadside of the Dauntless on this, like the first thing they see. Quite the fleet. 
It's actually not a bad formation because we got the, the tank and then the two mini tanks. Yes, sir. It's not shabby. On my way. We're going to get over here. Maybe make them spread out. Maybe make them fight my fighters inside the asteroids. That would be pretty cool. This should love. Yeah, increases the defense of ships. Wait, this will damage anything inside them, but also provide cover, increasing the defense of ships inside it. So we get a defense buff, but I take damage. That is the weirdest stat. <laughs> you're giving up life, but you can take more hits because you're in cover, basically. Oh, something detonated. Pirates? The enemy is approaching. What are you guys doing over here? Oh, you're just deploying turrets. All right, so we have our first contact. We've got a couple of TIE interceptors. I'm going to send out the A-wings to cause a little havoc. The enemy's turning, and it looks like they're turning towards the asteroids. Our Imperial visitors may be fighting pirates right now over here. Hi, guys. How's it going? Let's see if this asteroid blocks shots, because any time that it takes you to get closer before you can fire is good for me. Basically, hold your position. Responding. A -wing squadron reporting. We have a group of X-Wing. No, a group of TIE Fighters that have broken off. Let's see if we can get the A-Wings to um, Alpha Strike it to little pieces. Launch those concussions. There they go. That should be a few TIEs dead. One TIE dead. I saw the splash. There you go, guys. There you go, guys. I feel like you can win this. All right, here we go. They are firing into us. Thankfully, the Dreadnoughts are actually taking up the damage for us. It's a bit of a weird formation. Like, the Quasars shouldn't be up front. Fight that. Cover them. Let's fight this fighter battle and win it. The wings I'm issuing your attack move order. Okay, you guys have really gotten into that fight. Uh, continue. Continue! Power of the main batteries and open fire. Let's see if we can kill this thing. They're trickling in! Let's go! Everybody focus your fire on that target! Oh, Dauntless, you're so far away. Your pathfinding decided to do something very questionable. You know what? You two are in range of this. Go ahead and kill that. How are my hunters doing? We got anything worth hunting? Not really. <gasps> he went into the ast. He's literally in the asteroid. He's in the asteroid just taking damage. He's taking subsystem damage right now. Wonderful. Hey, use that big engine on your back. Let's go. Start pulling away. You two engage that. All you bombers engage. No, you should be running. You should definitely be running. We have won the Starfighter battle here. Now, one of the things that we are going to have to worry about is the counterattack that is definitely coming. Oh, man, I wish you weren't there right now. That is such a bad position for you. Oh, please kill it. Come on, guys. Did you get a shield generator at least? No, switch to a shield generator so it doesn't get that back. Uh, yeah. <gasps> They're turning. They're turning. Where are they going? What are, where are they, what? Uh, yeah, let's switch fire. He's kind of in this right now. Get behind him, get behind him. So they're facing the wrong direction. This is lovely. Quasar, run this way. It's gonna get real interesting real fast once they decide to switch targets. And all of our dreadnoughts are still alive and our fighters are still winning. I can pull you away. Go ahead and rejoin the fight. Why wow, the way we died. Uh, this is a great opportunity actually for us to kill the support ships and the engines. Are you still alive? Uh, that was more of a comment towards the, please help him, please help him towards the, the group attacking. They're doing a great job. Is my, help, help him, help him, switch your eye on some. Uh, we did lose an Ebulon B, that's okay. Uh, we're also pouring rounds into this ISD and we are taking out its engines. Which fire to its next engine, please. And you fire at that engine, please. The Dreadnought is still alive. Yeah, you should be firing. You three, open up on the next support vessel that you've got. How are you guys doing? 
crates. We've knocked out the shields on two of their carriers. And the independence is getting worked out. So here's the problem we're gonna run into. They have more ISDs than I think we can kill. Uh, yeah, that's just gonna be the major issue here. They're gonna keep bringing in reinforcements. Every time we kill an ISD, they're gonna replace it with another one. Uh, yeah, and that, I'm not super thrilled with that. You won! As soon as we killed that ISD, this one dropped out of hyperspace. But this is great for us. So as long as we get fighters helping them. Where's the A-Wings? Those A-Wings are still alive. I need you to hard burn over here and keep the fighters in check. We'll let the bombers continue to mop them up. Got really lucky with where they hyperspaced into. Uh, this Dauntless is doing, it's doing broadsides on both sides. Stop your position. Keep firing. I know I'm really, really worried about this. Um, keep firing at the hall and just kill that thing. Another victory is down. I hate to kill this carrier because I know it's not really helping their their efforts anymore. You need to eh, eh, go after those interceptors, please. Thank you. We got it. Where's their next drop? Oh, you're in so much trouble right now, M60. Push forward. Kick your engines on. See if you can get behind the guns. It's your only chance for survival. A-wings, clear the skies. Keep those bombers alive. How we doing back here? They dropped another ISD on our face. Yeah, we are going to lose that ship. Our reinforcements, though, are ready to come in. Time to bring in... Honestly, it's time to bring in bombers and just harass the... Oh, there's a victory over there, and they've got fighters. Okay, we need to be a little careful with this. Uh, Let's bring in... Bomber squadron, bomber squadron, bomber squadron. A-wing, 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 A-wing. We're going to do another fighter group. Reinforcements this is the key to victory with a couple of hunters. Drop out of hyperspace, start chewing through them. You Dauntless, you did so much good work. Multiple Star Destroyers are dead because of you. Oh, uh, that's not good. We just got a bunch of Ion Disabled boats right behind us. I've changed my, I've changed my mind. A-wings, deal with those TIE Interceptors. We have to keep this fighter fighting our, in our hands. We need to win this. And we cannot let those, what do you consider frigate, right? Hey, you're frigate. Hey, hammerhead! Remove the shield generator. Over there. Don't go forward. Weapons charged. Ah, oh, there's another ISD. How you guys doing over there? I've got my approach vector. You're doing really well. And he's in the back, but he's taking hits. Can we destroy this fleet? This is their main fleet. Remember, this is the big fleet. Okay, we've almost taken out the disablers, which is the thing that scared me the most. You dropped your repairs, nice. I hate to pull you off of this. Let's get all X-Wing switching targets. Everybody else continue to intercept. You guys keep the numbers of Starfighters down. I'm bringing in blockade runners in the hope that we might get them to turn around. I'll even bring in some, some like Y-Wing <laughs> and some Hammerheads. We might as well have the most damage we possibly can. Uh, subsystem damage is a little scary, so let's take that out. Did we get it? Ion boat down? Yes, ion boat's down. I feel like we're not killing this as fast as we were. They just got another carrier in the back. That's not good. X-Wings are on the way. Try to give them a hand. A-Wing, get on those. We gotta keep those, those B-Wings alive. They're getting work done. If I can defeat this fleet, if I can destroy this fleet, we'll be looking so good. Hey, clear those ties out for them. The rest of you continue to engage. Quasar move out. We just lost another Dreadnought in the back. That should give us another group of X-Wings. How we doing? Our damage output has gone down pretty far. We might be in trouble. You guys should be having no trouble with those ties. Please get that done. All right, help them. Help them. I'm giving them point defense. Oh, we're about to lose shield. And we can't boost power either. Really need you guys to win this. Help him. Laser's still alive. How are we doing in the north? Uh, I think we're losing the Starfighter battle. Oh, they have an ion boat up there. 
A wing's on the way to give you a hand. I think we've lost bombers. I'm still in this. I'm still in. If this fleet is decimated in this war, in this fight, it's still a major victory for us. Because we've stopped the enemies, the Empire's main fleet. We got this. Another ISD is down. Okay, you run. Whose shields are about to fail? Focus your fire on the quer the carrier then. Yeah, focus your fire on the carrier. We'll have the starfighters knock that out. We'll have the interceptor switch over to the starfighters there so we're not pulling them off their job. Clear them out. Come on, A-Wings. Knock that shield out and we should be able to kill it pretty quickly. Reinforcements are on the way. That's it for reinforcements. What we've got is what we've got. Well, and a one group of... Oh, no. It's brought in another... It brought in a victory. Help him. Help him. We gotta kill this. I take out the ions. Maybe we can keep the independence's damage up if we take out their ion torpedoes quickly. Maybe even get in shields back. There you go. There you go. All right. Hull damage now. I'm a little worried that he's going to turn around and get all of the... Yeah, he's going to get all those weapons on us. We got it. We got it. Our starfighters were unable to finish the job in the back. We're, we've just lost our engine, so we are here till the end now. All starfighters report to this fight. Yes, Commander. Copy. In it to win it. Targeting. I need all A wings. Getting over here and dealing with this. Oh no, those poor Y wings are gonna get blown up. I just want to keep their bombers off us for a little bit longer. We don't have engines. So there's no reason to run. What do we got left? His shields are down. We're killing this ISD. Has a lot of blockade runners just like firing into this guy. <laughs> Come on, break him. I think we can still take down. I think we can still win this. Swing around this way so that we can get ready to stop the incoming fires. We got it. Switching targets. It may cost us one of our flagships. I think this is the the bulwark going down, if I'm not mistaken. The bulwark is dead. But the Imperial's largest fleet is gonna join it. Let's go. We still have the fighter battle win. Let's clear this, guys. I need all of you hammerheads to hard burn and get behind all those turbo lasers. They just brought in more reinforcements. I may have underestimated how many they have. Oh, we still haven't taken down your shield. And his main turbo lasers are almost in range. Form up. On my yeah, keep, way. keep pressing. Right Better to push out. through Form up. than to wait. Oh, the independence is down. Where's our run? Can we kill this? Fire on their shield generator. We might have to just go for the... No, I can't jive into that. We can do this. We can do this. We're taking out the shield now. Not that it matters. Come on, there's the missiles. There's the missiles. You guys break off and engage. There's starfighters. Copy. Heading out. Fall out. Open fire. Buy us some time. Buy us some time. Bombs are going down right now. He's he is dying. I gotta keep the starfighters off of us. They don't actually have that many. Like that much in the way of point defense. We should be able to do this. Are they going for the starbase? They are going for the starbase. Now they're turning. This is great for us. So there's no capital ships to chase anymore. But they're going after the next largest target. Can you finish this, guys? Except for you. You guys need to stay on those fighters. Keep them good. Getting knocked out. What is engaging? Oh, wow. You guys are getting work done. Yeah, kill that carrier. Wish I could help you, Station. We've got we've got nothing that can give you a hand right now. All I can do right now is kill off the rest of these starfighters and then go engage that ISD while it has no backup. Come on, eat those fighters. All right, kill the carrier so we don't get another spawn. 
It's also got in a point defense. Nice. With the ISDs. I think we just won the fleet battle. The fighter battle. We're good, we're good. Begin your attack run. You have your orders, here we go. All the starfighters should be passing by them. There's the fleet behind. Everyone's making the run on it. Oh, the credit cost for the Empire in this. And they can't be at fleet cap anymore. There's no way this is a fleet cap. So there shouldn't be any more enemy reinforcements. Go for the hull now. We've taken out the majority of their ISDs. Or space station isn't going to make it. might put an ion cannon on Ithor and build the largest space station I can get for a defense fleet and just leave a defense fleet here. What is this? What is this? <laughs> yeah, please kill him. R41s, do you need, need you like help with that? All right, it's dead. Uh, blockade runners, zoom over here and kill him, please. One group of TIE interceptors keeping all these starfighters busy. We got it, moving on. Focus your fire on the shield generator so we can get the normal guns doing a little bit of damage. Ready to fire. An eye on him. Look at that ISD burden. Shields down. Space station still alive? Yeah, live is relative. Breaking it, breaking it. Space station damaged. Let them do their thing. Waiting orders. Come on. I believe in you guys. I wonder if they're secondary weapons. Because they're screener hunters, so they've got two weapon sets. I wonder if their secondaries only fire when you get really close. Like their point defense. And not their hunting weapons. Ooh, the new version's gonna give us stats on ground units. I wonder if they will have weapon ranges. That might be on the wiki, too. I don't talk about it much, but Awakening the Rebellion does have a pretty impressive wiki. If you're ever interested in, like, all right, Ions Online. Please make that just not be a thing. Here goes our space station. Copy. But we will be the last one standing. Ready to fire. And we can now fast forward because they have nothing that can slow us down. It's just victory classes. That I'm more than happy to take out. A defeated Ithor. We had a half the number fleet stack. And we won it. I'm far more confident now in, a, in an invasion. So that was two Imperial ISD 1s, an advanced loaded ISD, an advanced two ISD, three strike cruisers, which are ion disablers, by the way, tectors with their big, big giant turbo lasers, their extra turbo lasers, lots of carriers for good balance, and seven victory twos, five of which were the advanced loadout. So we were dealing with TIE interceptors that entire time. Uh, we did, though, lose the heroic MC-80 independence as well as one of our larger starfighter fleets. Uh, I don't see the loss of a Quasar in this list. Did it survive? Oh, it must have been part of the shipyard. We must not have had a Quasar there. Okay. All right. The enemy has lost their fleet. It is time to get some ground invasions on. Let's get it done as quickly as possible. Transmission received. And get digging in. You're getting an ion cannon. And a tier three. Ithor. Construction complete. Space station. Oh. Yeah, wow, you don't really have much in the way of mm. construction complete. Ground invasion, go. Invasion commencing. We're making progress today. Let's go. Oh, it's gonna be a long episode today. I just realized we're an hour into the recording. That's all right. Roger that. We were talking about it in in the arm of, the armco chat about like what we're gonna what I'm gonna do. How am I gonna deal with these big fleets? And I think just biting the bullet and going for it was the right was the right call. Uh, is there any chance we can secure this landing zone over here so I can bring in 
ground force is a little closer to the fight. Turret constructing. Gotta dig in a little bit back here. Awaiting orders. Yes, sir. Maybe dig in and has been spotted. scout forward. We've secured a build pad. The enemy has been spotted. Turret constructing. Yes. You say that. Moving out. What enemy? Where? Heading out. What I see is a pirate of some kind in the south, but I can't really see. That's one of those little coins. What is that? Hmm. Three credits, maybe? I need to order up that Dauntless. What are we engaging? We are fighting a wall. Let me guess. There's a turret emplacement behind that wall. Let's grab that. Oh, the grenades on tier three infantry. Yes. Yes. Let's get right in the middle here. We can get the bunker too. Worst case scenario, I can hide in the bunker. All right, we got the secured build pad. I am bringing in artillery and I'm bringing in heavy armor, some light armor. And for the 9,000th time, I'm gonna wish I had remembered to bring like Sullistans in. Let's do a mix. We're gonna go very heavy. What the hell? Whoa. Hi guys. Have a surprise. What? The pirate outpost is right here? What? Okay, there's one of their buildings down. We're also being engaged by stormtroopers. And oh, that's the pirates. Oh, weird. Okay, cool. I'm here for this. We'll knock them out early so they're not harassing our back line. Uh, we managed to take out. Oh, crap. All right, get inside. Kill it. Get everybody in. Everybody in. It'll buy you time. You take cover. And I'll give you some... Nope, they blew it up. I will give you nothing. Oh, Mercs. Mercs. Grab that. Deploy artillery. Heavy armor up. Light armor up. We have incoming. We need to reinforce our pinned down squads. That are living their best life right now, actually. Just taking out mercenaries and... Are they regulars? They're storm commandos. And we've artillery coming in. We're in range with the arty. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and get some um, Trandosian hunters. I've been meaning to train up other units. Let's go. Oh, my poor. My poor armor. Come on, guys. Figure it out. Figure out what direction you need to go. And I will set the artillery with a little bit of like defense. Yeah, don't let them get by. And let's get the shielded ships up front. And let's not let them have that. Oh, I can put a repair station here. And we'll have a little like a logistic hub. Yes, Trandosians are ready. So Trandosians get Hunter Instinct reveals all infantry on the map. Let's do it. Weirdly, the enemy has moved to the north in a in a big bulk number, and I don't know why. I might send the Trandosians up there. Their other ability is what? Just take cover, right? Yeah, take cover and hunt. So yeah, I'm gonna take you and this group, and we're gonna go hunt the Empire. The Trandosians would be really, really stoked about that, actually. Uh, I mean, do I wanna just run up there and go what they've got before they dig in? I think I kinda do. What? What's going on here? I have no reveal. I have no fog of war. What is happening? I can't see the enemy. Is there an ability being used I've never seen before? We just took out a hero. <laughs> yeah, it was one of their logistic heroes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's move up. Uh, yeah, I can't see anything up there. I'm gonna pop another Trandosian ability. Where do my Trandosians go? Maybe we can, like sight beyond sight. I need to see. Oh, that's so weird. What is it? And that's, no, that's not normal if anybody's what like, well, you know, they're in tanks. Their their ability to see what the heck's going around them is really limited. That's why you need, you know, infantry. But that's not, that's not how it actually works in this. We need to cap this. Good job, Deeb. That squad is still alive. Oh, their base is... I, I didn't realize where their base was. Okay. Yeah, let's move up. 
and lob missiles at the building because that's where all of the enemies coming from. And if we make it not be a thing anymore, we don't have to worry about enemy reinforcements. Could really use some of those light tanks over here. Bombing runs ready. Calling it in, not waiting around. Good job. Get your rockets in right. Bombing run. What do we have down here? Yeah, there's just defenses down here. And uh, an outpost. Small outpost. Yeah, you guys get together. I feel like you could probably handle this on your own. Bombing runs here. Ooh, look at all the mines. Goodbye income. The heavy armor did not need help with that at all. What the heck? Oh no! The Trandosians made, they made, they built snipers. Awaiting orders. Okay. No, we do not need built and chill music going on. Right? All right, troops, load up. I copy. We're gonna move in. The snipers go north, we right, go south. Right you. We have legitimately taken out their entire base at this point. We're just mopping up. What are we shooting at? Oh, Storm Commando's in the back. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing that is. Sneaking around. Being sneaky like they do. Uh, our teams are moving in. <laughs> the mortars took them out. We've secured. I wonder who wins, Trandosian snipers or really angry rebels with the boost run fast with grenades ability. Let's kill this first. So we're sprinting. Look at the grenades. Uh, but now they can see us. No, capture that. You can use that to kill the snipers. Don't, don't blow it up. Please throw your grenades at this and not the bunker you can capture. Thank you. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Please kill it quickly. We need to get, now get in this. The snipers are coming. Maybe, or maybe they've decided to just shoot at the civilian like outpost we made. <laughs> yeah, y'all wait right there. And the mortar teams and light armor is on the way to deal with you. They'll be with you in a moment. All right, we're charging again. Grenade time. I thought the snipers would chase us and we could just hide up in the bunker where they can't really do much damage to it. Bombardment available. There we go. Should we, should we bombard the snipers? Absolutely. All that time and training and we're just gonna delete the grid square. Oh, the first shot is a bullseye. Uh. You don't need to keep firing. One round is all it took. I'm very happy with that. We are in the core. And what I'm hoping this does is it distracts the Empire for us. All right, let me know in the comments below what you think our next move should be. Here's a look at the galactic map in this longer episode. Uh, we're in it now. We're a jump away from Coruscant. We should get a spy there beginning of next episode for sure. Coralag is building up ground troops for a ground invasion. They still hold the orbit of Coridia. We need to knock that victory class out of there. It is time to move and move fast. We are down one fleet. We are up 26,000 credits which is like one single Dauntless or a lot of smaller vessels. Hmm. I look forward to reading your tactical advice. I will see you all in the next one. Later, everybody. Bum, 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 bum.